In this video, we shall learn about 10 types of words that are action or dynamic verbs, state verbs, linking verbs, transitive and transitive, regular verbs, irregular, auxiliary, modal, phrasal, and causative verbs. Transitive verbs are the verbs that transfer their action to the object. Intransitive verbs are just opposite to them. Hello everyone and welcome to Homeschooling with Hera. In today's video, we shall learn all about verbs and how to teach verbs to our kids. इस वीडियो की सबसे अच्छी बात कि ये बाइलिंगुअल होगी यानी कि मैं से उर्दू और इंग्लिश दोनों में बनाऊंगी द बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज दैट इट विल बी बाइलिंगुअल एंड आई विल बी ट्रांसलेटिंग एवरीथिंग इन उर्दू हिंदी एज वेल सो कीप वाचिंग द वीडियो हिट द लाइक बटन नाउ एंड इफ हैव एन सब्सक्राइब येट डू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड आल्सो प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो यू डोंट मिस एनी ऑफ माय वैल्यूएबल टीचर्स रिसोर्सेज एंड वीडियोस एंड विद दिस Is the time to dive in? So, if we teach verbs to our kids, we give them the simple definition that the verb is a word which shows an action. For example, jump, eat, and play. Verb की simple definition क्या है? Verb ऐसे words होते हैं जो action यानी के हरकत दिखाते हैं. For example, jump, eat, or play. When we teach verbs to our kids, so we differentiate them with red color. So whenever we are marking any verb in a sentence, we ask children to mark the verb with red color. Jolly grammar में ये हम बच्चों को जब Montessori में भी grammar पढ़ाते हैं तो verb का color red होता है और verb अगर sentence में mark करना हो तो उसे red color से mark करते हैं. The action for verb is this. You need to show as if you are running. Let's quickly learn about different types of verbs. This topic begins with the basic things, but it goes to the advanced level as well. So keep watching, keep listening, and try to understand this thoroughly because it will help you even if you are sitting in as or in sat. So here are the different types of verbs. We have action or dynamic verbs, state verbs, linking verbs, transitive and intransitive verbs. Regular verbs, irregular verbs, auxiliary verbs, modal verbs, phrasal verbs, and causatives. Let's begin with action or dynamic verbs. Now, what are action verbs or dynamic verbs? Action verbs or dynamic verbs indicate some physical actions. As the name is showing, जैसे कि नाम से पता चल रहा है कि action verbs क्या होते हैं या dynamic verbs क्या होते हैं, जिनसे कोई physical action पता चले, like jump, fly, or swim. They all are the actions that you can witness or experience with your eyes, right? So they all are dynamic or action verbs. और ये हम बच्चों को सबसे पहले पढ़ाते हैं. KG two में we can teach these types of verbs to our kids, right? Second type of verb, the most important type of verb and the most neglected as well. We don't teach this type of verbs to our kids, and we just create lots and lots of confusions in their minds. So what is this type? Is the state verb or static verbs? What are static verbs? State verbs don't show any physical action. They show the subject's state or feeling. State verbs क्या होते हैं? State verbs action verbs के opposite होते हैं. ये कोई भी action show नहीं करते, physical action show नहीं करते, बल्कि इसके बरक्स ये show करते हैं. जो भी आपके सेंटेंस का सब्जेक्ट है उसकी स्टेट या उसकी फीलिंग नाउ व्हाट डू आई मीन बाय स्टेट और फीलिंग सो हेयर आर सम एग्जांपल्स यू कैन रीड देम मीट वांट लव थिंक प्रेफर हेट नो बिलीव लाइक ट्रस्ट रियलाइज लेट्स यूज दीस स्टेट वर्ब्स इन सेंटेंसेस एंड देन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड बेटर आई नीड सम वाटर आई नीड सम वाटर Can you tell me where is the verb in this sentence? I need some water. Need is a verb, right? But does need show any action? Can you do any action for the word need? Can you see the action of need if somebody is saying that I need some water? We can't. So this is why need is a verb, but which type of verb? It's a state verb, right? 
नीट के लिए हमारे पास कोई एक्शन नहीं है जब हम नीट का वर्ड यूज करते हैं ये वर्ब तो है लेकिन इसमें कोई फिजिकल एक्शन नहीं है इसीलिए हम इसको स्टेट वर्ब या स्टेटिक वर्ब कहते हैं एट सम प्लेसेस यू कैन आल्सो फाइंड दीज वर्ड्स एज मेंटल वर्ब्स क्योंकि ये दिमाग के अंदर होते हैं हमारे कहीं कहीं पे आपको इन वर्ब्स को मेंटल वर्ब्स का नाम भी मिलेगा क्योंकि हम सिर्फ सोच रहे होते हैं या महसूस कर रहे होते हैं ये फिजिकल एक्शन नहीं होते आई ट्रस्ट यू द वर्ड ट्रस्ट हियर इज वर्ब बट दिस इज नॉट शोइंग एनी एक्शन ओके ही नोज You are lying. He knows you are lying. Now to know something is again a state, right? A state of mind. It is not a physical action. हम इसके लिए कोई एक्शन नहीं कर सकते टू नो समथिंग हमारे पास इसके लिए कोई एक्शन नहीं है बस एक मेंटल स्टेट है राइट इसीलिए स्टेट वर्ब है She realized later that she was wrong. She realized. उसने महसूस किया या उसने मान लिया लेटर के वो गलत थी शी रियलाइज लेटर दैट शी वॉज रॉन्ग उसने बाद में समझा या महसूस किया कि वो गलत थी राइट तो महसूस करने के लिए समझने के लिए हमारे पास कोई एक्शन नहीं है इसीलिए ये एक्शन वर्ब नहीं है ये स्टेट वर्ब है गॉट माई पॉइंट होप यू हैव नेक्स्ट इज लिंकिंग वर्ब्स Now please listen to this type of verbs very carefully because they are somehow connected to state verbs. Linking verbs ko gaur se samajh lijiyega kyunki linking verbs state verbs se milte julte hain lekin uske saath saath different bhi hain. What are linking verbs? Linking verbs also don't show any action just like state verbs, right? But they link the subject to its complement. लिंकिंग वर्ब्स कोई एक्शन शो नहीं करते लेकिन ये क्या करते हैं ये जो भी आपके सेंटेंस का सब्जेक्ट होता है ना उसको उसके कॉम्प्लीमेंट से जोड़ देते हैं कॉम्प्लीमेंट क्या हो सकता है कॉम्प्लीमेंट कोई एडजेक्टिव भी हो सकता है कॉम्प्लीमेंट कोई नाउन फ्रेज भी हो सकता है कोई प्रोफेशन भी हो सकता है कोई पोजिशन भी हो सकती है राइट सो लिंकिंग वर्ब्स आर ऑल्सो काइंड ऑफ स्टेट वर्ब्स But what's the difference between linking verbs and state verbs? That linking verbs link the subject to its complement. A complement can be an adjective, it can be a noun phrase, it can be a name of a profession, it can be the position of someone, and even possession. Now here I have used some bigger words, but they mean the same that I have just explained. I said that. uh the subject complements can either be adjectives so in adjectives we have predicate adjectives we will learn this later some day or nouns predicate nominatives or predicate nouns if you want to learn about predicate adjectives and predicate nouns so you can just message me in the comments box or if you already know these so please share your knowledge with us some examples for linking verbs are be become seem look a pair feel taste to understand it better we can see some examples she looks gorgeous now this look here is a linking verb because gorgeous is a complement to she she looks gorgeous so if you have a verb that is linking your subject to its complement then it will be linking verb theek hai is sentence mein dekh lijiye urdu hindi mein bata rahi hu she looks gorgeous yahan pe ye jo verb look hai ye she aur gorgeous ko jod raha hai she subject hai gorgeous iska complement hai aur is wajah se looks jo hai ye linking verb hai theek hai link bana raha hai ye bridge bana raha hai do cheezon ke beech mein he is a neurosurgeon He is a neurosurgeon. He is a he is the subject of this sentence. Neurosurgeon is the complement because it's a name of a profession. So is here is linking verb because it's linking subject to its complement. यहाँ पे is जो है ये linking verb है ये helping verb नहीं है. Please don't make this mistake. Is is not a helping verb here. Here it's a main verb. 
linking verbs and state verbs are main verbs they are not helping verb is am are hamesha helping verbs nahi hote do remember this aapko sentence dekhna hai aur phir uske baad faisla karna hai ki kya ye helping verb hai ya linking verb if you have an other verb after is he is doing something he is going somewhere he is studying something so if you have another verb after is am are then is am are or was verb will be helping verb otherwise they can simply be the main verbs and which type of main verbs linking verbs right another example is at once the auditorium fell silent now here we have verb fell what is the meaning of fell to trip over to fall down but here it's working as a linking verb why because here fell doesn't mean to fall down or to trip over here fell means that something went silent urdu aur hindi mein sun le at once ekdam se achanak se the auditorium fell silent achanak se sara auditorium khamosh ho gaya khamosh ho gaya ye jo ho gaya hai na ye fell silent se yahan pe likha hua hai jab hum english likh rahe hote hain ya hum koi bhi zuban aur kar rahe hote hain to hum word to word tarjuma ya translation nahi kar sakte to agar aapko likhna hai ekdam se auditorium khamosh ho gaya you would write at once the auditorium fell silent or went silent here it's a linking verb it's linking the auditorium to its complement that is silent after the picnic everyone has fallen ill that's your target to write the linking verb from this sentence he seemed annoyed from this sentence i'm serious he gets angry so quickly and from this sentence as well find out the linking verbs from these three sentences and write them down in the comments box in tino akhri jumlon mein se subject nikale uska complement nikale aur uska linking verb sab comments mein likh ke batayein taki mujhe pata chale ki aapko samajh aa gaya hai next type of verbs is transitive verbs and intransitive verbs this is again a little complicated concept for some of you because i have got lots and lots of question between transitive verbs and action verbs whether action verbs are transitive verbs or they are intransitive so please listen to the def- definition first then i'll explain that what are the similarities and differences between transitive intransitive and action verbs right so the definition says if the verb is transferring the action it's transitive if the verb is transferring the action to the object it's transitive if the verb is not transferring the action to the object it's intransitive let me explain this in urdu hindi transitive verbs kya hote hain aur transitive intransitive aur action verbs mein kya difference hai ye sab main abhi aapko clear karti hu sabse pehle ye yaad rakhein ki transitive verbs wo hote hain jinke baad koi object hota hai jo wo action jo transitive verb kar raha hai usko receive kar rahe hote hain इसके एग्जाम्पल जब दिखाऊंगी ना तो और अच्छे से समझ आ जाएगा अभी इसको थोड़ा एब्जॉर्ब करने की कोशिश करें ट्रांजिटिव वर्ब्स एक्शन वर्ब्स भी हो सकते हैं वो एक्शन भी शो कर सकते हैं लेकिन उनके बाद एक ऑब्जेक्ट होता है उनका एक्शन रिसीव करने को राइट इन ट्रांजिटिव वर्ब्स क्या होते हैं कि इनके बाद कोई ऑब्जेक्ट नहीं होता इनका एक्शन रिसीव करने को There is another thing to remember that transitive verbs can be changed into passive voice. Transitive verbs वाले sentences को हम passive voice में change कर सकते हैं But on the other hand, we cannot change intransitive verb sentences to passive voice because the object is not mentioned in them. Let's check out some examples to understand this. ओके फर्स्ट आई बी टेलिंग यू द एग्जाम्पल इन इंग्लिश और फिर मैं इसको उर्दू हिंदी में भी बताती हूँ चेक आउट दिस सेंटेंस आई ड्राइव द कार वॉट इज द वर्ब हियर ड्राइव द एक्शन ऑफ ड्राइव इज बींग रिसीव बाय द कार आई ड्राइव वॉट आई ड्राइव आई ड्राइव द कार सो दिस ड्राइव वर्ब इज अ ट्रांजिटिव वर्ब इन दिस एक्शन Now it is showing an action we are not concerned about whether it's showing an action or not 
transitive verbs are concerned about do we have an object which is receiving the action so yes we have an object here that is the car and it is receiving the action of drive and as i told you the sentences with transitive verbs can be changed into passive so here is the passive form of the sentence the car is driven i drive the car the car is driven right in intransitive verbs we do not have any object so we are simply saying he is driving we are not telling what he is driving he is driving the action is is driving but the action is not transferred to an object this is why is driving is intransitive verb now the hindi urdu version of this explanation transitive verbs apna action object pe transfer karte hain जैसे ये सेंटेंस लिखा है आई ड्राइव द कार मैं ड्राइव करता हूँ क्या ड्राइव करता हूँ कार ड्राइव करता हूँ ठीक है सो so, ड्राइव का जो एक्शन है चलाने का जो एक्शन है उसके बाद हमें पता है कि हम क्या चलाते हैं हम कार चलाते हैं तो ये ट्रांजिटिव वर्ब हो गया अब ये एक्शन वर्ब तो है ड्राइविंग का एक्शन हमें नजर आता है ठीक है लेकिन उसके साथ साथ ट्रांजिटिव वर्ब भी है क्योंकि इसके बाद हमारे पास ऑब्जेक्ट है ठीक ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब्स एक्शन वर्ब्स भी हो सकते हैं लेकिन इस सेंटेंस को अगर देखें ही इज ड्राइविंग वो चला रहा है अब हम इसके आगे हमने कार नहीं लगाया मे बी इसलिए नहीं लगाया क्योंकि अगले बंदे को खुद ही समझ आ जाएगा कि वो क्या चला रहा है ही इज ड्राइविंग इसका क्या मतलब होता है नॉर्मली कि वो गाड़ी चला रहा है बट हमने तो मैंशन नहीं किया ही इज ड्राइविंग सो जब हमने ऑब्जेक्ट को मैंशन नहीं किया कि वो क्या चला रहा है तो ये जो आपका वर्ब है इज ड्राइविंग ये आपका वर्ब इन ट्रांसिटिव बन गया क्योंकि इसके बाद ऑब्जेक्ट नहीं लिखा हुआ सही है समझ में आ गई बात अब एक चीज और देख लीजिए कि जो ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब्स वाले सेंटेंसेस होते हैं यानी कि ऐसे सेंटेंसेस जिसमें वर्ब भी हो और वो ऑब्जेक्ट भी हो जिसके ऊपर काम हो रहा है उनका पैसे फॉर्म बन सकता है जैसे कि आई ड्राइव द कार कैन बी चेंज इन टू द कार इज ड्रिवन आप इसको आगे बढ़ा सकते हैं द कार इज ड्रिवन बाय मी तो ये आपका पूरा पैसे फॉर्म बन जाएगा ये वैसे भी पैसे भी है बस बाय मी और लगाने तो लगा दें लेकिन यहाँ पे हम पैसे नहीं बना सकते ही इज ड्राइविंग ट्राई टू चेंज इट इन टू पैसे इफ यू कैन डू इट राइट इट इन द कॉमेंट्स बॉक्स अदरवाइज इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल इन डीड नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ वर्ब्स रेगुलर वर्ब्स वेरी सिंपल इजी कॉन्सेप्ट वी कैन टीच दिस टू आर किंडर गार्टनर एस वेल verbs that can be changed into their past and past participle forms by adding ed are called regular verbs for example walk into walked talk will change into talked watch watched post posted spot spotted regular verbs kya hote hain regular verbs wo verbs hote hain jo ed lagane se apne past form mein change ho jate hain रेगुलर वर्ब्स क्या होते हैं रेगुलर वर्ब्स वो होते हैं जो खाली ईडी लगाने से अपने पास्ट और पास्ट पार्टिसिपल फॉर्म में चेंज हो जाते हैं पास्ट फॉर्म का क्या मतलब होता है सेकंड फॉर्म पास्ट पार्टिसिपल का मतलब थर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब आपको पता होगा ना वर्ब की डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स होती हैं प्रेजेंट फॉर्म पास्ट फॉर्म पास्ट पार्टिसिपल प्रेजेंट पार्टिसिपल तो पास्ट पार्टिसिपल थर्ड फॉर्म होती है जो रेगुलर वर्ब्स में खाली ई लगाने से भी आ जाती है बेस वर्ब आपका है वॉक वो बन गया वॉकड और अगर इसकी तीसरी फॉर्म पे जाएंगे पास पार्टिसिपल तो वो भी होगी वॉकड टॉक 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 वॉच वॉच्ड वॉच्ड पोस्ट पोस्टेड पोस्टेड स्पॉट स्पॉटेड स्पॉटेड राइट सो रेगुलर वर्ब इज अ वेरी इजी कॉन्सेप्ट आप बच्चों को आसानी से पढ़ा सकते हैं एक्टिविटीज इसकी मैं आपको बाद में बताऊंगी इ रेगुलर वर्ब्स वॉट आर इ रेगुलर वर्ब्स verbs that change their spelling or pronunciation in their past and past participle forms are called irregular verbs irregular verbs kya hote hain aise verbs jo apni past or past participle form mein ya to puri spelling hi badal lete hain ya at least pronunciation to badal lete hain unko hum irregular verbs kehte hain for example be verb is am are was were been they all are the forms of be verb 
if you don't know about b verb the uses of b verbs how to use it what are the different forms of b verb so you are really lacking in your english grammar please learn b verb very nicely if you want to excel in your grammar or written or spoken english if you don't know how to learn it and from where to learn it just check the description box i'm giving the link there i'll also give the link in the i button so you can go and watch a complete video around b verb do learn it i highly suggest you i highly recommend you right some other irregular verbs are eat ate eaten drink drank drunk think thought thought read 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 come came come run ran ran now in the word read you can see the spelling is same but this the first form is read second is read third is also read come is the first form came is second come is third run ran run here again we have some irregularity now you might ask the question or, ch or children might ask the question that how will we know that is it a first form or the third form so the sentence will tell you that which form of verb is this right hope this is clear next one auxiliary verbs what are auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs are helping verb right they are used along with a main verb to express tense mood or voice auxiliary verbs kya hote hain ye helping verbs hote hain jo main verb ke sath aate hain most of the time sentence ka tense batane ke liye for example is am are was were will be shall be has been have been and had been if you see is am are with the main verb for example is walking is sleeping we are jogging so is am are will tell you that you are talking about present tense was were will tell you that you are talking about past tense will be shall be are used in future tense has been and have been or had been they all are perfect tense auxiliary verbs so you can just look at the auxiliary verb and can tell the tense of a sentence theek hai ye sare auxiliary verbs your helping verbs hain inko dekh ke aap sentence ka tense bata sakte hain ki aapka sentence jo hai wo present tense mein hai past tense mein ya future tense mein ya perfect tense mein theek hai aur yaad rakhiyega auxiliary verbs ke baad main verb lazmi hota hai और अगर ऑग्जिलरी वर्ब दिखने वाले वर्ब्स के बाद मेन वर्ब ना हो तो ये लिंकिंग वर्ब्स होते हैं पॉइंट टू रिमेंबर इफ यू डोंट सी एनी मेन वर्ब आफ्टर इज एम आर वॉज वर्ब और एनी ऑफ दीज ऑग्जिलरी वर्ब्स रिमेंबर दैट दे कैन बी लिंकिंग वर्ब्स right so all the time they are not only helping verbs they can also be the main verb depending on the context of the sentence and the way someone has used them right some examples of auxiliary verbs i am doing my work doing is main verb here am is auxiliary i was doing my work auxiliary is was telling the tense i will be doing my work future continuous i have done my work present perfect i had done my work past perfect i have been doing my work present perfect continuous i had been doing my work past perfect continuous i will have done my work future perfect tense i will have been doing my work future perfect continuous if you want to learn all these tenses the link to the video is in the description box please check that out and learn all the 12 tenses in english along with their uses or structures and many examples got it next is modal auxiliaries modal auxiliaries or modal verbs are a special kind of auxiliary verbs they are used with the infinitive of the main verb to help express things properties like certainty obligation permission or ability मॉडल वर्ब्स भी ऑग्जिलरी वर्ब्स होते हैं यानी कि हेल्पिंग वर्ब्स होते हैं और ये मेन वर्ब की इन्फिनेटिव फॉर्म के साथ यूज होते हैं टू हेल्प एक्सप्रेस बताने को चीज़ों की प्रॉपर्टीज लाइक आप कितना श्योर हैं किसी चीज़ के बारे में अगर कोई पाबंदी है या ऑब्लिगेशन है उसके बारे में इजाज़त लेने देने के बारे में या किसी की अबिलिटी के बारे में कि वो कुछ करने के काबिल है या नहीं 
Some of the modal verbs are written here can, could, shall, should, may, might, must, would. If you want to watch a detailed video about modal verbs and how to use these verbs, what are the degrees of fraternity, what is the right way of making request or polite suggestions, a complete video has been already uploaded on my YouTube channel with the name of Model Verbs. You can check the link in the description box. Model Verb ke baare mein agar aapko achche se seekhna hai, jaanna hai, to maine video already upload ki hui hai channel pe. Please description mein link dekh lije aur seekh lije. Here are some examples for Model Verbs. Could you move? It's a polite request. If you are asking an elderly person, or your teacher or somebody who is unknown. So please don't say, can you move? Move. Don't say this. To make a polite request, you can say, could you move? Second is, it might rain today. It means there are some chances that it will rain. It might rain today. You must work hard. We should run fast. May I go now? Can you lend me your coat? In all these sentences, you can see that we either have made polite requests or simple requests or we have talked about certainty or possibilities by using different model verbs. Here you can see that uh, we have used the word move, rain, work, run, go, lend. These are the infinitive form of verbs because they are not giving us any information about the tense of these sentences, right? So we can have infinitives with two plus verb and also bare infinitives without two. In some other video, we shall discuss about the infinitive forms of verb as well. So if you want to learn that, do write it in the comments box. Next is phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs consist of a verb and one or more other words. Usually a preposition or adverb. When they are put together, they make a new verb with a new meaning. So in simple words, what are phrasal verbs? Phrasal verbs are simply a verb along with a preposition or an adverb. And when they both are together, they make a new word and give a new meaning to these two words. For example, cheer up, find out, take off, fall over, break in, break out, turn off, come across, calm down. If you see these examples, you will find a verb and then a preposition or an adverb after them. For example, calm and down. Down is a preposition, calm is a verb. Come, come is a verb, across, it's a preposition, right? So, phrasal verbs kya hote hain? Phrasal verbs aise verbs hote hain jisme ek verb ke saath ek preposition ya adverb lagawa hota hai. और वो दोनों मिलकर एक नया ही मतलब बना लेते हैं एग्जांपल्स आप लोगों ने सुन ली हैं बहुत से ऐसे कॉमन फ्रेजल वर्ब्स हैं जो हम एवरीडे स्पोकन लैंग्वेज में और रिटन लैंग्वेज में बोल और लिख रहे होते हैं लेकिन हम सोचते नहीं है कि ये बने कैसे हैं और आए कहां से हैं तो फ्रेजल वर्ब के ऊपर भी बहुत सारी वीडियोस बन सकती हैं बिकॉज वी हैव लॉट्स एंड लॉस ऑफ फ्रेजल वर्ब्स इन इंग्लिश देर इज अ पॉइंट टू रिमेंबर समाइम्स Uh, a same phrasal verb can be used in different contexts. बहुत दफ़ा ऐसा होता है कि एक ही phrasal verb different तरीके से use किया जाता है उसके मायने बदल जाते हैं और ये सब कुछ आपके जो sentence होता है उसके लिखने पर depend करता है context पर depend करता है कि आपने किस तरह लिखा है sentence, right? For example, to blow up means to inflate. Come on, let's blow up all the balloons. The guests are about to come. किसी की सालगिरह है और आप बलून्स फुला रहे हैं तो जल्दी जल्दी फुलाएं क्योंकि गेस्ट आने वाले हैं ब्लो अप ब्लो अप ऑल्सो मीन्स डिस्ट्रॉय विद एक्सप्लोजन वे ब्लू अप द बिल्डिंग विद सम डायनेमाइट राइट सो ब्लो अप मीन्स टू डिस्ट्रॉय समथिंग विद एक्सप्लोजन ब्लो अप ऑल्सो मीन्स टू एन लार्ज समथिंग कैन यू प्लीज ब्लो अप द फोटो सो इट मीन्स टू जूम इन और टू एन इट See, we have the same phrasal verb, but we, if we are using it differently, it's giving different meanings. Next one, causatives. What are causatives? We use a causative verb when we talk about something that someone else did for us or another person. It means that the subject caused the action to happen, but didn't do it himself. Maybe they paid or asked or persuaded the other person to do it. Let me make it simple. 
what are causatives causatives are the verbs which the subject of the sentence doesn't do himself in normal sentences what happens we have a subject who does something right but in causatives the subject doesn't do any action but he asks someone else or he pays someone else or he persuades or orders someone else to do the work for him for example the first picture says i wash my car it means that i do it myself i wash my car but if someone says i get my car washed or i have my car washed pehle sentence ka matlab hai main apni car dhota hu dusre ka matlab hai main apni car dhulwata hu i get my car washed it means that i don't do it myself i ask somebody else to do it for me right so the subject is asking someone else or causing someone else to do this action i get my hair cut i don't cut my hair myself i get my hair cut make me a cup of tea i'm not going to make a cup of tea for myself you make me a cup of tea have him practice at home means the teacher is asking the parent that have him practice at home usko ghar pe taiyari karao usko ghar pe practice karao she is not going to do this the teacher is not going to do, do this she is asking mother to make the child practice at home get me a glass of water i'm not going to get a glass of water for myself i want you to get me a glass of water so i am asking somebody else to do the action for me right i hope causatives are also clear if you want to watch a complete video on causatives check the description box now the next thing how to teach verbs to kids we are done with the 10 types of verbs there could be something else the more you dig deeper the more you get the knowledge but in this video i have only covered these 10 types of verbs right now the second part of the video will tell you that how you can teach this to kids just to wake you up and now let's see the first activity you can play simon says with kids to help them understand verbs in this game we have an imaginary character simon if the teacher says that simon says clap kids clap if teacher merely says clap they don't have to the one who is quick and correct in his responses wins the game simon says me kya hota hai teacher ne ek imaginary character banaya hua hai simon uh si- jab wo bolti hai simon says clap तो बच्चे क्लैप करते हैं जब वो बोलती है साइमन सेज राइट तो वो राइट करने का एक्शन करते हैं लेकिन जब वो ऐसे ही बोलती है रीड तो बच्चे नहीं करते तो इस तरह करके आप एक्शन का गेम करा सकते हैं बच्चों को वो एंजॉय करते हैं और साथ साथ लर्न भी करते हैं डोंट फॉरगेट हम बच्चों को वर्ब का एक्शन भी बताते हैं जो भागना है और इसके लिए जो कलर है रेड कलर वो भी हम उन्हें बताते हैं कि वर्ब्स का कलर रेड है सेकेंड गेम इज डम शराद डम शराद में क्या होता है वॉट हैपन इन डम शराद वन कैन ऑल्सो प्ले डम शराद विद वर्ब्स डू सम एक्शन एंड आस चिल्ड्रेन टू गेस गिव दम अ चांस टू डू समथिंग एंड द अदर विल गैस सिंपल आप कुछ एक्शन करें बच्चे गैस करेंगे फिर आप बच्चों से आपस में एक्शन कराएं और वो एक दूसरे को देखेंगे और बताएंगे कि क्या एक्शन किया जा रहा है राइट नेक्स्ट एक्टिविटी इज दिस इज समथिंग a uh, very important verb conjugation if you are done with your pronouns and you should have done with pronouns when you are teaching verbs tell them to do verb conjugation and the one who does it fast will win i clap you clap we clap he claps she claps it claps they clap this is something a little tricky for non native speakers because we need to shift from clap to claps then claps to clap right with a uh, third person singular we add s to the base verb and it goes like this i clap you clap we clap he claps she claps it claps they clap right so you can also have the verb conjugation game along with this you can have some sorting activities it means that you can have some uh, slips with you on which you can write some nouns some pronouns and some verbs and can set a timer that children need to sort out verbs pronouns and nouns 
You can also make crossword puzzles on Canva or with any other AI tool. If you want to learn Canva, please check out the description box. There you will find a complete course on how you can create teachers resources with the help of Canva. So you can also make crossword puzzles for verbs or for any other parts of a speech as well. Joining words with preposition. You can also have a game of joining verbs with different prepositions and adverbs to make phrasal verbs. You can also have group discussion to use advanced verbs and sentences. For example, if the verb is to walk, you can change it with to stroll or to amble or to wander, right? So you can make small groups. Children can find out synonyms of the verbs and can use them in their sentences. Last but not the least, since you are a teacher, you need to be creative. So be creative. With simple paper and pencil, you can create lots and lots of games. Try to keep your lessons multisensory, more interactive, more towards game. Because if you do this, children can absorb the concepts easily. Movement for them is an exercise of mind. So keep giving them chances of movements and you will see that their focus and concentration level will surely increase. And with this, it's the end of our today's class. Hope you have got a lot from this. If yes, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon with something new. Take care. Bye for now. And don't forget to make it a great day. Bye.